Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You vs Them read. Let's see how you're feeling now Leo, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Leo, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, okay? Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. And newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, uh, Leo, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. And bottom of my deck, I have the death card. <laughs> All right, so somebody feels uh, this is over. Its uh, connection is uh, done. I have to now, you know, maybe start a brand new chapter or something. It's time to see what else is out there. And that's making the other person very, very nervous. They're trapped in their mind. They are uh, thinking. They are overthinking. They feel they made some wrong decision. They've been dropped. They probably feel like they're getting some karma for it. The other person is saying, yeah, you know what? Death to rebirth. I'm, I think it's time for me to have a passionate brand new beginning move on my person was never opening up their emotions to me they were emotionally keeping me trapped never being open and honest with me i can't take the stress anymore all right so that's what your feelings are right now but let's see how this goes and uh, before i clarify these cards of course leo i'm going to start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'll do the clarification Leo and that person's spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and that person, thank you. Let's take a few more Leo from another deck. Leo and that person's spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and that person, alright, and just a few more Leo from a third deck as well leo and that person then we'll start the reading immediately leo and that person all right good to go leo let's start the reading and uh, leo if any of you are looking for personal readings my email is in the description box below otherwise it's simple it's omkarataro at gmail.com just make sure when you do email me to put your country state in the um, in the title as well but that helps me navigate you know uh, the time zones all right so the first card here says it's still not over boo i didn't mean to hurt you I could never forget about you. I talk to you a lot in my head. I told you somebody is thinking, overthinking, doing all the question answers in their own mind at the moment. So they are talking a lot but only in their head. I don't want to hide this love. I would be honoured to have a family with you. You've helped me discover my psychic gifts. Thank you. I honestly don't think anyone will love you more than I do. Just saying. So somebody feels, yeah, I've learned my lesson. Uh, you've helped me discover my psychic gifts. I mean, at least I've learned a lesson out of this connection, if nothing else. But before leaving, I'd have to tell you that I did love you a lot and nobody can love you the way that I truly loved you. There's a huge void in my life since you've been gone. I want to restore your faith in me. When I said I love you forever, I meant it. Please get to know me again. I have changed. Soon I plan on returning, hoping it can work this time. So somebody wants to make things right. I mean, the first card said, it's not still over, boo. <laughs> okay. So, now let's start the reading, Leo. And uh, newcomers, 
don't get confused i'm just reading two soul energies here one is you one is the person who is energetically in your energy space right now affecting you this could be your love interest spouse could be a business partner could be your sibling could be your best friend could be your parent child dynamic so i mean with these dialogue message cards you've already figured out who i'm talking about by now but while i do the reading you'll also immediately know which side you're on and which side the person is so now let's start focusing only on person a uh, of course before that let's take our angel blessing card let's see what my angels have for you as a blessing guidance advice or a message don't compromise right if so uh, i don't know which side you're on but uh, person a if you're overthinking it and you know the other one is the one for you please don't compromise go get them and person b if you are the one the leo who's watching today well if somebody is never going to open up and do right by you then you have all the right in the world to learn your lessons and move on don't compromise stay stuck in a connection which keeps you stuck okay spirit what's happening here tell me let's start with person a first person a uh, a to swords what's the stress about yeah person a is coming to some realizations i think they have also spent a lot of time in hermit mode thinking overthinking trying to understand uh, missing their person and uh, yeah some truths have been revealed to them about the wrong choices they made okay so what's the what's the choice what's the lovers in reverse what's the lovers in reverse they held on i think they, this person didn't open up they they just held back or they were a miser with their time energy offer anything i think they're realizing that that was a that was a mistake i should not have done that and because they did that they lost out on the biggest cup of love which was like a direct you know gift from the universe uh, the ace of cups is like emotional happiness forever and ever after and somebody turned it down because they were sitting in lack They, this person was at that point only thinking about things what made them happy it's like yeah i'm happy the way things are i'm happy being single i don't want to be you know in a connection even though i think heart of hearts they knew that person b was a soulmate was a perfect match for them i think person a made the big blunder of holding back and not sharing that love or offering it so then what happened person a tell me a uh, two of pentacles in reverse i think the other person gave up didn't want to be juggled or waste any more time or be treated like an option and person a i think didn't even you know offer any apology or uh, uh, maybe they just maybe the other person got tired of them yeah i think person a was in their shadow energy in the past they they were only thinking about what made them happy their their whatever i don't know what but uh, i i have a feeling i think they're a little afraid also now because they see that the other person has become really strong and has taken their power back but in the past i think this person person a themselves was was sitting in their little player ways or just thinking about themselves or sitting in their ego sitting in their pride and now they feel the chapter has shut down this person took too long to make a decision basically they just sat there and didn't make a move and they thought you know as long as i'm happy as long as i get what i want i'm okay i don't have to you know accept or give my uh, commitment to one person and now they feel they're getting some karma for it or they're getting they are being judged for that yeah but heart of hearts i think that clarity has come to them now whatever lies they spoke or even to themselves i think they have come to some kind of clarity now that uh, they don't want any other option the, there is only one option for them and that is person b now they are desperately wanting to return back they want to return back they want to make things right with the other person they want to come out of the cold they don't want to be left behind they feel, uh, they are feeling abandoned now so person a tell me how do you see the connection now and how do you feel about person b person a says uh, 
I, I, I just said that Omkara Taro, I want to be, I want to get out of this abandonment feeling. I don't want to lose out on my future. I feel if I don't uh, make any effort now, I am going to lose out on my Ten of Pentacles. And I am I'm, I'm very disappointed with myself. I should have invested when the time was right. Now I'm fearful that the chapter is shut down. I do want to start a brand new chapter. I do want to have victory with my person. In fact, I would. I want a brand new beginning. I'm ready to take that leap of faith now. And yes, I am ready to put in the work as well. Then, Eight of uh, Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, yes, they are ready to take action. They, they are ready to take action. They want to end the cha past chapter of betrayal, hurt, pain, and so that a new chapter can begin. This person is desperately wanting to get unstuck from this position. But I have a feeling they haven't made a move yet. They could be spying on the other person. They could be keeping a watch. Why is that? Why is that? Why you don't, you want to take action? Yes, they want. They're waiting for the right time. I think they're waiting for the right time to see what is a good time to reconcile. This time when they come around, I think this person has serious, uh, serious, um, you know, um, motives. Which is yes, I I'm ready to invest now. I I see a four of wands. I see they are realizing that they lied in the past, not just to their person, but also to themselves. And as much as they are ready to take action now, uh, they feel um, they are they they feel they're feeling bad karma. I think right now, feeling stuck, feeling um, maybe if I reach out now, uh, there's been so much of stagnation. Maybe there'll be an argument, there'll be a fight. But heart of hearts, even though they are not taking action, this person is they're not taking action currently. From what I see, they want to. But they are not because they are somewhere spying to see if the like the death card they want it in reverse. We had this as our overall energy, right? So the fear is that the other person is angry with them, has ended things, but they want to know that's what they're spying. Is there any chance of a partnership? Maybe there's still a little life left in this connection. Maybe there's a chance that it isn't over. So they want to find out all that before they can actually come forward. So let's see. Let's see what actions person A will take. I will open this later though. Uh, Leo, let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. And then we'll come back to person A for that action. So person B, you have the ace of wands in your feelings, in your emotions. Yeah, person B says, I gave them my all Omkara Taro. I was loving, I was compassionate, I was kind and uh, all they brought was imbalance into this connection. I mean, they, they insulted me. They didn't make me feel good about myself or they never showed me that respect that, you know, they should have. And that's the reason I'm kind of uh, fed up. I'm, I'm taking off on a passionate brand new beginning and I'm going to allow the universe to take me wherever next. I'm supposed to go. I'm not going to compromise. I'm not going to sit around and wait. I am an empress whether they see it or not, whether they treated me like an empress or not. I know I deserve somebody very, very stable in my life, something very stable. Right now I'm focusing on my life, my future, allowing the universe to take me towards new beginnings, ace of wands, ace of pentacles. Mm, I think the person we got a little... Uh, unmotivated where uh, love was concerned so the cup is not here cup i think they gave to person a and person a just dumped it out so person b is saying yeah you know they were just a king of cups in reverse they not only dumped my cup but they, their cup was totally empty as well i've lost faith i've lost hope in this connection now umkara taro so i'm kind of uh, working on myself now working with others trying to you know secure my life have a brand new beginning mm, this person was just emotionally empty not opening up, just playing mind games, emotional games with me. So why do you feel this way, person B? Tell me. Uh, person B says, I just showed you the card from the other deck. He was the king of, this person was the king of cups in reverse. They never loved me. They, they were just wanting to keep me emotionally stuck. 
and I have turned my back on them now and I've taken back my power. I'm shining brighter than ever. I've got my confidence back. I am, you know, following my own passions now and I, because I'm an empress, I'm a queen of wands. I don't have time to, you know, um, keep sitting around and looking at the past and sitting in sadness and regret. That's exactly what they wanted me to be. I mean, somebody who's just going to pine for them. I'm not going to pine for them. I've turned my life around. I've made my own decision. I've made my own choice. And uh, well, I'm, I'm now kind of planning my life ahead. I can't be sitting in, you know, anxiety and sleepless nights and stress and tension. I'm letting all that go because that's exactly where my person wanted to see me. Uh, nine of swords in reverse. Look at the sun card. <laughs> person B is really, really kind of bringing sunshine into their own life right now. Trying to make their world illuminated and lovely and happy and just pursue things which make them happy and uh, no more stress no more anxiety working maybe on their uh, money or you know taking care of their home or just looking good feeling good nurturing themselves at the moment maybe rebuilding their life after being with a person who was probably very stubborn, very arrogant, may have ghosted them, could have lied to them, cheated on them, whatever. So person B is saying, I'm making a firm decision that I'm not going to deal with the trickster. Okay, person B, tell me, how do you see the connection now and how do you feel about person A? Uh, person B says, uh, they took too long, Om Karataro. They just took too long. I don't want to be single for the rest of my life. I expected them to come and speak to me, be honest with me, not just tell me the, the truth, but also to uh, give me an offer that, you know, step up and take responsibility of this connection. I was the only one who was trying. I kept trying. I kept trying. And I kept waiting that sooner or later, you know, they'll come forward with some communication. But they never came. That's the reason I've now turned my back. And I think if and when any communication has happened, it's been very immature or, you know, probably led to some more anger and fights or something. So person B says, no, I'm done. I'm turning my back. I want to see what else is out there. And uh, I'm healing my heart from somebody who just brought in too much conflict. I mean, our connections seem to be going backwards instead of going forward. And I see them now as just somebody very immature. I'm very disappointed that they never leveled up. All they wanted to do was have a good time, but not a long, long time with me. And yes, I am very disappointed in this connection and I am wrapping up this connection and I am going towards um, success and uh, everything good for myself now. My priority right now is me and not sitting around in depression waiting for an offer from them. Okay, all right, so let's see what actions you guys will take. And uh, Leo, while I shuffle these cards, my time to request you, remind you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated. Thank you. And newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. Person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise page of swords i told you this person as much as they are itching to take action they are still watching from the sidelines they're spying why why is that tell me page of swords why is that an action page of cups <laughs> nine of swords hierophant and the queen of wands right they're not sure whether their offer is going to be accepted or not Right? This person is going through a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights. They, they want this commitment desperately. Now they want to come forward and offer this commitment. But somewhere they feel, first of all, they'll have to apologize. And maybe their apology may not even be accepted because from where they are sitting, what they are seeing, like what they are watching from the sidelines, they are seeing person B in a very, very good space 
shining like a like queen of wands looking good attracting a lot of attention mm, like maybe there's people asking that who's this person is this person single i mean they they could be spying right now just to see person b shining like the sun at this time and that's what's making them nervous that how do i go and give them an apology or ask tell them I i'm ready to commit they're not going to accept an offer from me so there's a lot of stress and anxiety and sleepless nights where person a is but they are watching that much i can tell you okay so person b you tell me action from your end towards person a or otherwise five of cups what's the five of cups you're disappointed looking at the past feeling what a waste of time energy effort we put in a lot and yet everything spilled to the ground five of cups the tower five of wands three of swords oh my god yeah see i don't blame person b person b has been through it as well they've had a lot of sadness whatever this tower was that happened between the two of you uh, whatever conflict happened between the fight happened conflict happened the tower came down it broke person b's heart big time i mean single handedly i think they've been trying to heal their broken heart get over the pain get over the you know sadness that they felt of the you know disruption of this connection so yes they are they are they are turning their back at the at this time and trying to see the brighter side of life or see what else is out there and you know move on probably and accept that yeah maybe this has ended i have to keep keep it moving and they're doing a good job and such a good job that person is now nervous they are nervous that oh my god they're not missing me at all no it's not that it's just that person b has been strong and uh, overcome that heartbreak or at least is trying to and trying to see what what how they can bring back happiness in their life that's what i have for you leo till next time then love and light take care namaste